Well, everybody loved her as Deborah Balone, Balone, Barone on the long-running sitcom. Everybody loves Raymond. Now she's producing a heartwarming documentary called uh, The Bit Bituminous Coal Queens of Pennsylvania. You say that ten times fast. Please welcome the beautiful Patricia Heaton. <laughs> There. See, we're going to interview you now. Okay. <laughs> okay, how do you say the title of the, because I, I, I knew bituminous, I was. Bituminous, the bituminous, bituminous. coal of Pennsylvania. There's yes. bituminous coal and there's anthracite. And do you know the difference? Well, no. I don't no. believe I do. <laughs> Does anybody know the difference between bituminous and anthracite? Bituminous is soft coal, which is used for burning, and anthracite is hard coal. And uh, one of the, Sarah Rush, our, our star of our, our documentary, had suggested we call it soft, not hard, but it sounded kind of porny. <laughs> yeah. So, so we, which is better call? <laughs> and they're just different purposes. Yeah. Which is but, the yeah. kind that Santa leaves in your stocking? Uh, that would be anthracite. <laughs> okay, I yes. just wanted to check. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it's this great, you know, um, and my friend Sarah was the 1972 bituminous coal queen, and it's quite a big uh, deal in this town of coal miners. And uh, she went back for the 50th anniversary of the pageant, and it was wonderful. Um, my husband took uh, two crews down there, uh -huh. David Hunt, and um, shot and ran for 10 days and came back with what we call our homage to small town America and it's really funny and it's heartwarming and we go down under with the coal miners and we're up above with the girls doing their tap dancing and baton twirling and it's really but a blast. Wait, before we get into that, uh -huh. before we yeah. get into the bit by two minutes coal queens, yes. I understand that when you, before you became a mega celebrity, yes. you had a meeting, a meeting with Donald Trump. You met him. Something happened. Something happened. Was, was I well is behaved? Is today the day? Was I well behaved? Are you sweating? Today the day we're going to finally admit it, Don. Well, let's see, 20 years ago, who was I married to? <laughs> Think back, know, 20 was years I, ago. Was I well behaved? <laughs> Um, Looking at you, I doubt. I, <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, I would think probably you. not. Um, Don and I have a secret love child. No, we don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, that's good. Uh, Get in on that now. <laughs> and I'm sure there's Front no page, New York Post. <laughs> Here we go. Call, call the New York kidding. Post. It was one of those imploding prenups. <laughs> <laughs> I used, uh, when I first came to New York, my father um, introduced me to George Steinbrenner, who was from Cleveland. And we loved George Steinbrenner. We loved George Steinbrenner. And your father Steinbrenner. loved George Steinbrenner. And my father's a sports writer for the Cleveland Plain Dealer and right. knew George that way. And, um, and George set me up with a job in town with a, a, a party planning special events company called Hemming and Gilman. Mm -hmm. And they did all the big charity functions in town. And I was the, the writer uh, for the journals that they gave out at the thing. And I had kept hearing about Donald Trump's going to be at this event. You have to meet Donald Trump. But who's Donald Trump? Oh, he owns all the buildings in New York City. No, that's his. And that's his. And, that's his. and uh, so I met you. I was like 22, 23. Just what did you a, wear? Were you nervous? Ago. Did you think maybe oh, you could be Mrs. Trump? I was like straight off the boat from Ohio State University. I had bad clothes and wrong makeup and, uh, you know, I had like a unibrow. And well, <laughs> well, I guess you You've blew it, well. didn't Thank you? you. <laughs> She's done very well. Yes, she was recently but you were lovely. favorite TV. Yes, favorite you were very, TV I was mom. well behaved. You were well behaved, yeah. Okay, no phone numbers. You were a gentleman. No, no not What's at your all. number? Yeah, right? no. But, but you backstage you were asking me for it. No. <laughs> 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 you didn't remember that you'd met me already. Uh, but you were recently voted favorite TV mom. You beat out Claire Huxtable in t a Parenting Magazine. Is I that true? Heard. I heard. Can you believe know. that? That's, That's great. Deborah Barone. Yeah. Deborah Barone beat out Claire Huxtable. That's kind of a sad comment because Deborah Barone was quite a bit nastier than Claire Huxtable, so I guess, um, you know, these poor husbands out there, they must be really taking a beating if I'm the prototype for their wives. Well, I think it's like a more real, I think women, it's like a more realistic goal. <laughs> be a doctor of brain surgery or beat up our husbands. Do you stay in touch with Ray? Raymond? Yeah, uh, Ray and I email each other. Um, uh, Brad I saw on Broadway when he was doing Odd Couple, Doris mm -hmm. and I have lunch, Phil Rosenthal lives around the corner, so we all keep in touch. You know? That's great. He's a great guy. You know, I played golf with him in Lake Tahoe, and he's a good golfer. He's a good golfer. Better than he thinks. 
better golfer that. than an actor, probably. Uh, I don't know. Just kidding. He's a very he good is, actor. But he's a very good golfer, actually. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, he used to. He had a little uh, putting course set up outside our studio, and whenever we couldn't find him, we'd go out there, and sure enough, he'd That's be out where there he swinging. Be. Yeah, I actually took it up because of Ray. I mean, he was doing it so much and loved it so much, and then I got my husband lessons, and and then I ended up taking lessons, and I actually golfed in a tournament with Ray. No kidding. I was the only woman. It was. Freaky. I thought, oh, well, they'll be, you know, you'll be there or somebody else will be there. Oh, no, I no, don't call. There was nobody. It was me. Pippa don't call. <laughs> <laughs> you should try it. It's great. I've been told that it's great, yeah. but I just don't well, believe it. Well, you have anymore. a lot of little. Yeah, yes. I've got too much going on. Yeah. No, but, t okay, now, mm -hmm. by Two Minutes Cold Queens yes. of Pennsylvania. Yeah. This is actually, these are actually women. They participate in a competition. 16 year gals, and this is like a, a big opportunity for them to shine in a very small community where there aren't very many opportunities. And um, we Took a, uh, Dave took a couple camera crews down there, and um, Netflix, it's available exclusively on Netflix on June 6th, mm -hmm. um, saw it and loved it and picked it up and is distributing it. And, um, you know, especially but with what's been happening in coal mining towns and the accidents that have been happening, it is a particularly touching and poignant now to see these lives that they lead and they really the people that you see are people that um, aren't portrayed very much anymore the heart of America the backbone of America mm -hmm. really solid decent people who work hard and, Great. and your husband's been a big help hasn't he? Yes, he, 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 he got out there he directed it he you know did the whole thing I was at home you know he would be calling me going oh, you know I, I haven't gotten the shots I'm sorry honey I gotta go I'm some, something's coming up on eBay sorry <laughs> That's so uh, yeah. Well, that's look, a great I working relationship. I look forward to it. So by two minutes, four queens of Pennsylvania. Again, available on Netflix, June sixth. And uh, Patricia, it's always great to see you. Yes, you gotta come visit us again more yes. often. Yeah. We've got American Idols, Catherine McKee.